Okay, basics, video four, how to research Kindle keywords and categories. Okay, so Kindle keywords. Keywords are very important in order to get visibility for your books within the Amazon store. And when you publish in KDP, in the Kindle Direct publishing platform, you get to choose seven different keywords. So these can be either one word, which are short tails, or multi-word, which are called also long-tailed keywords. And you can use the Kindle search bar in the Amazon.com store to determine what keywords to use for your books. And I'll show you how to do that in, um, after we go through this slide. So the first step would be to brainstorm words you think your ideal reader would enter into the search bar when they are seeking out the solutions or the entertainment that you're providing. And look at the first couple of pages of results to determine if the keyword is a good one. So you can look through those first couple pages of results. And for nonfiction books, you want the first pages of results to have some books on it that are ranking well in the store, so 100,000 or better, and that have some reviews. But you don't want them all to be like top 1,000 bestsellers with 100 plus reviews each, because that would indicate that there might be too much competition for that keyword. So for fiction, you can check out the results of keyword searches as well, but don't be too worried about competition. You don't need to be on the first couple of pages of results for a keyword to do well in fiction. However, any increased visibility that you can get in the Kindle store can help. And so for both nonfiction and fiction, what you're going to want to primarily pay attention to is if the keyword that you uh, are looking for if it comes down in a drop-down suggestion uh, list in the search bar in the Kindle store. And so I'll demonstrate for you uh, right now how, how to do that. Here we are in the Kindle store on Amazon.com. Again, you want to be sure that you are in Amazon.com. You want to look at that U.S. store. And uh, also sign out of your Amazon account if you're, if you're signed in, just to make it so that Amazon isn't catering any of their suggestions to you personally. Okay, so let's look at this search bar. Um, say you're going to publish a book about meditation. Uh, let's enter just the word meditation. So you can see, whoop, you can see meditation comes up uh, as a top result here. And so what this drop down menu is, it's a bunch of uh, suggestions based on a volume of searches. So since we wrote in meditation, this came up at the top. It's commonly searched for, and all of these are quite commonly searched for. Uh, because they come in this, this drop-down menu of suggestions. So you can see there's Meditation for Beginners, Meditation Conscious Mind, trans, transcendent, tra Transcendental Meditation. So those could all potentially be keywords that you can use. But what you'd want to do is, again, look into those uh, the results for those keywords and just look closely at the books and see how they're ranked and uh, decide uh, from that point if it will be... Uh, a keyword that is is worth using when you publish. So another thing to do, especially if you're well, if you're doing nonfiction, is how to blank. So how to meditate. Here you go. That comes up at the top here. How to meditate. How to meditate for beginners. How to meditate a practical guide. How to meditation. So that gives you a couple more ideas. And also you can think about words that are, that are related to what you're um, trying to pursue. So, you know, think about related words that readers may search for. So, for instance, for meditation, um, readers may search for something like mindfulness. So mindfulness comes up here, mindfulness meditation, uh, mindfulness for beginners. So you can get some, some suggestions here uh, for keywords that are commonly searched for. And uh, I'll give a couple of examples here for fiction too. So say you're publishing in romance and um, you're really into, or your, your book is about billionaire romance. So what you do is enter billionaire. And you see these uh, keywords come up. One hot tip, you cannot use the word free in your search keywords. So <laughs> keep that in mind. You can't use the word free. You can't use the word bestseller. You can't use the word Kindle. So any other word you can use. Pretty much. Um, so anyhow, billionaire romance, it comes up as a second result, so that'd be a good one. Um, some of these are, you know, clearly um, titles of books. Uh, billionaire baby romance. So, you know, if you did this, 
Gator, Baby Romance Book. Um, and so what you do is you think about all the elements in the book that you're publishing, and you just start to enter them in this keyword search bar and see what comes up. And any suggestions that show up in that drop-down menu are keywords that, that readers are actually searching for actively. So that gives you a good idea of what to use for your keywords. When it comes to Kindle categories, choosing the right categories also gets you visible in front of the right audience. So you get to choose two categories when you publish in KDP. You want to choose the categories most relevant to the niche and themes of your books. So what the best thing to do is, is look at the best sellers in your niche and see what categories they're ranking in and use this to guide you in choosing yours. So let's go over to the Amazon.com store and I'll walk you through this. All right, here we are in the Amazon.com Kindle store. Let's go to the bestsellers list. So I clicked on bestsellers and more. Go to the middle of the page and click on Kindle bestsellers. And we'll go to Kindle eBooks. And so let's say we're gonna continue on with this theme of uh, meditation. Say we're gonna publish a meditation book. And so we'll look down probably into self-help. So you can see here all these subcategories that come up in the self category or the um, self help category. Meditation, um, you know, is often considered to be a stress management tool. So let's look into stress management. Declutter your mind. Mind fills a new skinny. Practical meditation for beginners. These are all meditation type books. So let's look at this one. Declutter your mind. And let's go into the middle of the page to product details and see what categories this book is in. So in self-help, stress management, and in management and leader, leadership motivational. So what you'd want to do is you just want to make a note of the categories that the this meditation book was, was categorized in. Uh, let's look at this one, Practical Meditation for Beginners. Let's again go down to the middle of the page. And so, okay, you can see it's in Religion and Spirituality, New Age Meditation. Uh, self-help stress management. Okay, so this might be, these two may be good uh, good ones to choose if you're publishing a book on meditation. So again, it just takes a little bit of digging, a little looking into the books to decide what category you want to um, you want to choose when you are publishing the book. Let's go through one example of um, a fiction book. So let's go into, let's go into romance. And let's check out, say you're going to be publishing a uh, vampire book. So, so let's go to paranormal. And do you see these subcategories? Here's vampires. Let's go to vampires. And so these are all the best-selling vampire books in the store. Um, and let's look at, we'll look at the number one book here. Let's go and see what categories it's in. All right, so it's in several, it's in paranormal book categories, um, and uh, so in the story you would choose romance paranormal to be one of your choices. Let's see if any of these have anything else other than paranormal. So there's, they've just chosen paranormal as well. Okay, so this one also, um, it, they went to the angle of um, mystery and thriller. So mystery, thriller, suspense, suspense, paranormal, vampires. So there's a vampire subcategory in the mystery, thriller, and suspense category. And there is a vampires category in the romance category. So you can choose uh, paranormal romance and uh, paranormal suspense as categories when you're publishing your book in KDP. So I hope that was helpful and uh, I'll see you on the next video where I will walk you through how to pick out a good title for your ebook. I hope you're enjoying K Basics, this Kindle Publishing for Beginners course, that you're finding it helpful, you're getting a lot of value from it. And also be sure to go into the description and download my book idea to bestseller blueprint. And also join my free community Facebook group. The link is down in the description. 
and that's where you can come and hang out with me, hang out with a whole bunch of other publishers, ask questions, and uh, be part of this great community. See you on the next video.